What's up, guys? Having to uh, readjust how I do everything because I have this little buddy with me tonight. Suiting up. <laughs> so how you guys doing? Come on. She's a rough crowd. <laughs> um, so who here has ever had a paper cut? They're, they're absolutely like the most terrible thing paper can do to you, right? You're wrong. <laughs> Sorry. I, see, I've been thinking a lot about life and you know existential stuff, and paper. Paper has a lot more power than people give it credit for, and I'm not just talking about like people put words on it and you know and it can hurt. Paper by itself has the power to destroy. And see, when I think about like rock paper scissors, you know, scissors you know can just slice up paper and, and rock and just demolish it, but paper, paper can cover rock. And, you know, and everyone's like, oh, well, you know, nothing happens to rock. <laughs> it's not true, though. See, paper embraces rock, and it holds on. And it's, it's interesting that paper goes in it for the, like, the long haul, for the internal damage. <laughs> Sorry, Russ. Um, so, <laughs> you know, people I think like paper embraces rock, and you know, in, in in love or something like that. Which you know, some depends on the paper, because you know, paper is different sometimes. But what happens is that eventually, because it is the nature of paper being the remnants of a, of a living thing, it fades, it crumbles, and it turns to dust. And what it does to rock, then, is that it leaves it alone. It leaves it in complete desolation. And so rock is sitting here, and even if rock hated paper the entire time, now rock is left with this empty void. And so what I think about with, with paper is that we are all paper. We are, we, our life here in this mortal coil is all kind of finite, which has a beauty to it in and of itself. And so when you hear people talk about wanting to be like immortal or something like that, you want to be a rock in a sea of paper? To me, that's like the worst fate that you can bestow upon somebody. And I know there, there are many different schools of thought on you know, what happens after. You know, maybe me and Russ will meet in the next life in hell as post-it notes. <laughs> Um, but the thing, the, the, you share yourself with other people, though, being paper. And even though the time is short, that does not mean it's not worth it. And something that other people have got me to come out and uh, come up with is be the paper. Be proud of it. This is something I want to share with you tonight. Thanks. <laughs> 